all the basics of Open View. Now it's project time. In this video, we're going to walk through putting your collage together. A collage has several images in it, so before we start, make sure you have your all your images on the computer edited, touched up, cropped, and saved. If you don't have all the pieces for your collage yet, then before you proceed, go back and get them ready. Okay, let's make that collage. Earthen View is a photo editor, but you can't use it to really assemble images together like you can in Photoshop. So in this case, we will use MS Paint. Begin by opening Paint, which can be found in the Start menu under Programs, Accessories. As you can see, Paint opens with a blank canvas. To specify the size of your canvas, go to the Image menu at the top of the screen and choose Attributes. In the Units field, choose Inches and then give yourself a width of 6.5 inches and a height of 9 inches. This will give you a final collage that can be printed on a piece of 8.5 by 11 paper with 1 inch margins. Click OK and you have your canvas. We will call this screen the Collage Canvas and let's save it now, just in case. Because Paint is a very basic program, it will not allow you to open multiple windows at the same time. To simulate multiple windows, open a second version of Paint from the Start menu. Once your second version is up and running, you should have two windows that look like this. You may notice that now Paint automatically creates a canvas that is 6.5 by 9 inches. This window we will call the image window, but we do not need to save it since we're going to use it as our scratch pad for opening all the images we're adding to the collage. In this new window, go into the file menu and select Open. Now browse for the first image you want to use and open it. Select your image using the rectangular marquee tool and copy it with Control C or by going to the Edit menu and choosing Copy. Go back to the Canvas window and paste that image by choosing Edit, Paste or by holding Control V. Your image will appear on the canvas. Since you will be repeating this process, you may want to use those keyboard shortcuts. One more time for copy, it's Control C, and for paste, it's Control V. Before we go further, you ought to know some limitations of paint. You will be able to scale the pieces of image you cut and paste simply by placing your cursor over a corner of the select area where it will become a two-pointed arrow, then clicking and dragging to scale the image. You cannot, however, control your aspect ratio. In other programs, holding shift while you perform this operation will keep the aspect ratio the same. Here, however, you will simply have to be careful to maintain the shape of your image. If something goes wrong, you will notice immediately because the image will appear stretched or squashed. The other thing to take note of is, if you place an image over another and then click off the pasted area, the paste border will disappear and it will be part of your image. Whatever you have just covered is gone forever. You do have an undo option, but you can only go back five steps, so be careful. When you have done something good and you want to keep it, use Control S and save it. Now, if you make a mistake more than five steps away, you can always reopen your old save. Go to your second paint window, your image window, and open a new photo. Continue placing photos and arrange them however you like. It can add interest to the whole collage to overlap a corner here or there. Once your photos are all placed and you are happy with them, again, save your file. Remember that if you want to add titles or captions to your photos, you might want to leave a little space for them. To add some text to your collage to explain all those crazy pictures you have put together, or maybe just a date or a title, select the text tool, which appears as a capital A in the toolbar. Now, click and drag to create a text box in which you can type your captions.
You can choose your font and size by going to the View menu at the top of the screen and choosing Text Toolbar. A toolbar with the appropriate pull-down menus will appear. There! It's ready for you to choose your font style and size. Once you've finished adding titles or captions, you ought to be pretty finished with your collage. You can save this file as a bitmap, JPEG, or GIF, depending on how you want to use it. Congratulations! You have finished your project. Now you can use the new skills you learned to plan new projects. Or, if you really like manipulating your photos, you might think about expanding into a more advanced imaging program, like Photoshop. More advanced programs give you more tools and greater control over your digital images. So, if you have fun, that would definitely be where to head next. That's all for now. Good job on your project.